this day and age, when, when Lawnmower Man came out, Data was the most important <laughs> <laughs> information. See. Data was key. This is before cryptocurrencies. I'll say this, there's a lot of globalist connected groups I won't mention that, that do not like the word Bitcoin. They ban it. Yes. He who has the knowledge has the power. Lawnmower Man, that's a quote from Lawnmower Man. That's, uh, that's a quote from Lawnmower Man. You put classics on this? No. Like the doors. Oh, yeah, this is exactly like the doors. I'll grant you that. Okay, now don't fuck this up, man. You gotta get I can't through. control my speed. Yeah, dude, that's how drugs work. You not that anymore. <laughs> you control your angle, not it's slow. Like I'm really it does, though. It'll yeah, change! Man, I, better, I don't you trust already. you. Give it time! Yeah, should you be doing something? Or are you just trying to make a move? I think I'm just... Uh... Dude, you bonked your blinker! <laughs> You'll see Lawnmower soon. Trust us. If you haven't seen the movie, it is heavily Lawnmower based. Well, no, I mean, it's... it's the, just the thing is, he was uh, using yard maintenance worker. You're gonna have to move. I think this house is dangerous. No, 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 it's not the house, it's the neighborhood. A lot of people <laughs> put me the ink off. I mean, oh! I mean, have you ever jumped over a stretch limit scene since it's accelerating? So, are you right now. Or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Yeah. Pierce Bronston. From Mrs. Doubtfire fame. <laughs> is he in Mrs. Doubtfire? Yeah. He's the dude that everyone's all like, hell yeah, I'd leave my husband for that. The trolls are better, the storyline's better. Everything about this game is better than the country. Access uh, denied! Access granted! You know what time it is, right? Uh, virtual reality. That's fucking right, <laughs> asshole! I hope you like moving fast with your hands oh, up in front of you. What so, does this have to do with men or lawnmowers? I don't know. Have you ever seen Lawnmower Man? No. Hey, okay, Lawnmower Man is a. Uh, it's the this, cool flowers for Alton. Yeah, this like retarded guy mows lawns for a living, and then he gets hooked up with this experiment to make him smart by putting him in the virtual reality. And then I guess the military puts in an evil AI in him, or a militant AI, and merges with him. He goes crazy and starts killing people through. And he's the hero. No, he's the villain. Both plays the same character. We should probably both be the woman. Okay. <laughs> you can be a red. <laughs> white man or white woman, or a blue white man or white. Oh woman. yeah, there's no, there's no people of uh, color here. <laughs> well, is... I assumed as much when he said Pierce Bros. This is... we're definitely gonna win with this double. I, I do enjoy that the car moves up and down. Get all that data. Get all the data. Get all the data. Da data. I data. disagree. Here, Joe, shoot button. No, I don't want. You oh, could have saved us all. You lost all your data. Is that like the rings for Sonic? When we die, all of our DVDs come out of us. <laughs> no, but that's fine. When did this come out? I'm pretty sure it's not a DVD. Oh no, there was. No, if anything, it would be a laser disc. This is definitely a laser disc. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the data. Oh, the long man screamed. Screen. Yeah, he gets mad when we take his data. Ugh. Game? No, no, this was back in the day, but it was like canceled and never released or something oh, like that. Or I wonder why. Really, yeah. But I think Steam just got a hold of it to put uh, it Oh, they have it in virtual reality. Oh, oh that's <laughs> fun. Wait, like VR headsets? Wait, yeah. Yeah. I want to have VR games. That Where's are, our that score? We didn't even get 15% of the game complete? Yeah, man. Dude, you got beat by Jim Zorn. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe. Jesus Christ. Gob. <laughs> Alright, you want to buy something else up? Desert? Desert? Yeah, what's your favorite? Desert Bro, you got Blades of Steel? No, that's... I don't think we have any sports games, but hang time. Uh, hang time. I'm not pulling it there. out. There! That's promising. <laughs> There we go. about as reliable as King Griffey's fucking fielding. Especially, I know, yeah, not, I know nothing about Ken Griffey. He won, he won <laughs> several Golden Gloves. <laughs> yeah. Under a one ERA? No, he didn't what? pitch. He was not a pitcher. I'm confused on this man. No, he's a catcher. Whoa, these are not as good graphics as the N64. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if he pitches. Yeah! Oh, you gotta select them, I guess. Select the B. 
It's all kangaroos are genius. Nah, I'm throwing Grizzle! If you, didn't have Grizz, if you didn't have Grizzle on your team, you're not playing the game right. I mean, try to have him oh, run. that's not a I'm home run. run. This no, it's not. That's a double. No. That is a... Pop fly. Yes. It's a home run derby. What you the still fuck? Hit me? Yeah, but you put a slider on. It's got to be a home run. Oh, oh. You put a little bit of that stain. Yeah. At the distance. Who no uh, doesn't smoke pot? Here. Uh, All right, Grizzle. There's a roster update from this? Wait, what? Gaming Truckers 1 says there's a roster update for this. Wait, how? But we're playing on an actual Super Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. These are some performance enhancing drugs right here. <laughs> yeah. Yes! No, oh, get down! Damn it. Yeah. Oh. Grizzle! I would rather see all the Star Wars movies down that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we should just go. We want to refill. No. No. Yes, that's two! Damn it! The Grizzle! <laughs> Uh, That's bullshit, you were just hitting the, the B button the whole time. I was, is there another button? <laughs> Thank you, sweat. <laughs> I'm gonna start writing the green. Alright, what we'll, we'll players y'all want? Champion. Actually, three. give me Frank Liberty. You uh, lost. I want, I want, I want Brooker Brooks. I'm the Grizzle. I'm sticking with Tony Taloni. <laughs> He's my pony. <laughs> Wait, alright. I ride You got in. Grizzle. Which one you got? I'm Broker. Yeah, you got me down there. Tony Taloni. Tony Taloni. Tony Taloni. All right. Hey, what? Frank Liberty. Where's King Griffey's a little that? iffy, but Big Magoo is good to go. So I typed in Grizzly Wilkins, and it just comes up with pictures of gentle men. <laughs> so children watch this. Right? <laughs> yeah, but they only use the N word, so. <laughs> Why would he be Tony Maloney? That's copyright. <laughs> no, that was. Hey, that went out of here. Almost 500 feet. Death Go High says we're all very white. Yeah, yeah that's that that very whiter, man. <laughs> Any tips I'm for someone? Voting hard red line. <laughs> Stepping on people to get where I need to be. Trying to be as white as I can. Come on. Yeah. Been drinking a lot of Coors Light, you know. Just I've been driving my truck. Does someone have a home run? Yeah, bitch. I, there's nothing fancy about my underwear. Why isn't there anything fancy? Because he's a white man. I, recently, I've been in a store drink. that sold nothing but cupcakes. I'm very white. I drink very expensive coffee. Last out. Uh, last out. And the last out. French press for when that one Get it! Hey, get it! Get, get it! Damn it! Damn it. Oh. Oh. So 451. Not a, not a that is a six. What? 461. <laughs> right on. Leave it right <laughs> There's seven Norcus yeah. brothers. They're like the dwarves. We That's are like the dwarves. Roger's dopey. I'm dopey. You, you, you have <laughs> six brothers? I have six brothers. I did it! Each one, one. more beautiful than the last. And I was <laughs> the only one that didn't hit one. <laughs> yeah. Tony 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 Dude, Tony Taloni smells like the now where are we going? Taco Bell! <laughs> Shooting star leaping through the sky like a Now the summer sun's calling my name I hear you now, I just can't stay inside <laughs> So the bad news is that I didn't make it to finals. The good news is that I'm going to Taco Bell. We're in the snake pit. And we're getting Taco Bell. What? Julie Taco Bell. <laughs> what did you Please? say to me yesterday? Please! I don't have anybody. I only have Taco Bell. That's all I have. Legit Taco Bell, like, you're my only friend. No, shut. Listen, shut. Shut up, I'm serious. Like, you've always been there for me. I can't have Taco Bell right now because I'm trying to get in shape.
and it's not good for me, but I really want some. Taco Bell's not that bad. There's no bread. There's no bread at Taco Bell. They don't have bread at Taco Bell. This diet works on like non-processed food. You can't get bread at Taco Bell. What's processed in Taco Bell? I just really, really like it. And I really want some Taco Bell. I'm your man. You're my girl. I'm going to tell it to Why can't I like to garden? Or play Mahjong? Or cosplay? Or have a fantasy football league? I just want to eat Taco Bell. You raise me up so I can stand there murmuring. Elise, I think that we should just go to bed and you won't be hungry if you're Julie, sleeping. Julie, this isn't cute. Let's go to Taco Bell. <laughs> the balance remaining on your card is $1.86. Queso Lupa! Lupa! I can't just stop eating Taco Bell. You gotta wean me off. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh! Oh, so good. I'm not leaving the window. I said I wanted a lot. Three's not a lot. I ordered eight fucking things. Okay, three Diablo sauces. That's enough for one bite of taco. It's the sunshine. to the kitchen, I'm Chef Cook, and today I'm going to teach you how to make pizza fish. It's asked for all the time, and it's very simple to make. Four ingredients. Here we go. Let's get, let's get them right now. Alright, so here we have the fresh fish. We've got some pepperoni, some cheese, and some sauce. It's a real quick and simple meal. Alright, so let's Grab our glass pan like this and uh, start putting the pizza fish together. All right, well the first step is a, of a pizza is a crust. So you really just gotta take the pizza fish, place it right in the pan. Step number one. Step number two, sauce. Just pour a healthy amount right over fish there. Just like that, yeah. Just like that. Mm, that looks great. Now, the order is crucial here. Always put your toppings on top of the cheese. So cheese is next, and just give it a good old cheesing, good old cheesing. Oh yeah, just like that. Now, the final step, pepperoni. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Excellent, right there. That looks divine. Set the oven to bake. You're gonna want to uh, set this to 350 after you turn it on, let it preheat, and we're ready. So here's our completed pizza fish, ready to go in the oven for about 40 minutes or until the cheese is melted. And uh, preheated oven, just put it in. All right, the pizza fish is done. Let's take it out. Oh, yum. Oh, beautiful. All right, now uh, just cut it in half here, just like this. Yeah, and uh, just serve it. Half on one plate, half on the other. And uh, one good suggestion is you could always garnish with a fish stick. All right, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my most popular dish of pizza fish. I hope you enjoy yours.
Get silly, cause you don't wanna live your life conforming. It'd be a pity. Uh, get yourself loose in the head. Let your brain juices do their best. Try different places. Well, you try different ways to walk and think of silly thoughts. Pretend you're 10 years old before the internet killed your soul. And you can roll down hills. You didn't need pills. You use imagination to create your silly thrills. Now grow up, be an adult, get silly. Huh. Get, get silly, cause you don't wanna live your life conforming, it'd be a pity. Now I'ma break it down to the brass tacks on the strap track, cause the fact that when the act whack y'all contract giggles, means something near my rhythm, influence optimism, right? So go on, put a smile on your face, open your eyes wide and look into space. Throw your arms up and run in place. If you're not feeling silly, yo, you would just squish good silly. Get silly. Get, get, get silly. Cause you don't wanna live your life conforming, that'd be a pity. You know, if you just play with other people and laugh, maybe there wouldn't be so much division in this world. I'm going to tell you about me. I was born Margaret Jamanda White, daughter of Honorable Judge Benjamin Charles White III, head magistrate of Torrington, Indiana. When I was seven, I would sit and watch cartoons. My parents would say, Jamanda, there's no room for humor and silliness in the world. I wanted to be a cartoonist, but instead I gave in to my parents and started watching the news. If I didn't give in, my parents would lock me in the thinking chamber for a half hour at a time. When I went to college, I didn't know what to expect, having never toured a campus, but I got through it. I was a political science major with a minor in English, and I was having a good time. Junior year, I met my future husband, Dan Dimes, at the Union. He was a business major with no minor, just trying to finish college. I really wasn't attracted to him at first. He would get high and then stay up late and pretend to be studying, but somehow we fell in love. We got married a week after graduation. Dan convinced me to shorten my name to Jamie, and I became Mrs. Jamie Dimes. After two years, I finally got pregnant. Little Timmy was born with a rare disease called spinal meningitis and lived at the hospital for the first four years of his life. That's when Dan left me. Six years of marriage down the drain. I was forced to raise little Timmy alone. It isn't easy raising a four-year-old with spinal meningitis all by yourself. I used to have to lock that brat in the bathroom because he wouldn't stop log rolling in front of the TV. Soon after the divorce, Dan took me to court for custody of Timmy, claiming that I was an abusive and negligent wife and mother. Dan quickly remarried to some lady named Tina who worked at the hospital where Timmy went for treatment. They later told me that it was a coincidence that she worked at the same hospital, because they met at a special ed conference. They do these daily exercises at home that help develop Timmy's inner structure, whatever that means. Those fools think they're happy. I think it's just an excuse to never let me see my kid, which is fine. He's annoying anyway. Okay, I'm not really happy. That's why I'm writing this. I just can't take it anymore. Goodbye to those I blame. Sincerely, Jamie Dimes.
No. Got no master to establish, man. This is anarchy. Don't tell us. Hey, everybody. Happy holidays. As you all know, it's the festivist season, and we are in the mood. Yeah, and this festivist season, I'm starting it off right by airing my grievances. The middle class is being destroyed. They built a bank in Slab City. What's the deal with these ATMs? It's chaos. Well, actually, it's order. Strict and unforgiving order. Right? <laughs> now let's put up the pole. Pull, 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 pull. The pole has been placed. Now we just have to refer to everyday occurrences as miracles. I didn't cry today. It's a festivist miracle. Every day someone dies from smoking. It's, it's a festivist miracle. I decided to clean my belly button today. It's, it's a festivist miracle. I made it to work on time. It's, it's a festivist miracle. miracle. But you know what's the greatest miracle of all? None of this even matters. I don't matter. You don't matter. You definitely don't matter. You don't matter. <laughs> It's a festivist miracle! <laughs> this is all nice, but Jim Landowner's bank's really getting to me. Yes, we need to handle this. Let's get the gang together and take down that bitch-ass landowner. Well, before we do that, let's please make some big-ass noise and give a round of applause for Corey Healy! <laughs> 